Hello friends on the Secret Insider channel. The latest news. A Khazar group is planning a holocaust or mass murder in the Christian heartland of the United States on April 8th. The entire event of the solar eclipse on April 8th was criminally linked to the death cult. They also telegraphed the Black Swan event through people like General Mike Flynn and politician Ron Paul. Preparing for mass accidents is also a common occurrence, which can be seen, for example, in an emergency hospital that is being set up in Calgary, Canada. To be very clear, a solar eclipse occurs when the moon obscures the sun and has never been associated with a mass extinction. However, the planned one is not a solar eclipse. Our sources in the US Space Force tell us that the conspirators plan to use Reagan-era satellite weapons, laser-guided aircraft, and other methods to kill as many people as possible as a burnt offering for the Juggernaut, also known as the Antichrist. The sign used by the Juggernaut cult is the official sign of the Nazi satanic government of Ukraine. These messianic fanatical criminals want to hold this event as a prelude to the planned sacrifice of red calves to Moloch. This was followed by the construction of the Third Temple. Since the time of Moses, only nine red calves have been sacrificed. Currently, a massive altar has been built in Israel for the tenth sacrifice of the red calf, and there are many suggestions that this may happen in the near future. In 2023, a trial run of the purification ceremony was held. But the official ceremony must be held before the calves become too old to be used for such a sacrifice. According to the rabbis of the Temple Institute, they hope to hold the ceremony before April 22nd, Passover 2024. The Holocaust plan for this sacrifice will be stopped. The US Space Agency and the White Hat military will shoot down these satellites and other weapons as they are deployed. In addition, Jerusalem, Geneva, Kiev, and the Norwegian Antarctic base will be destroyed by intercontinental nuclear missiles if they commit mass murder in the center of the United States, sources in the US Space Forces promise. The reason the Khazars are desperate to commit mass murder is because they are losing their power and know that they face a war crimes tribunal and the death penalty if this happens. The events taking place around the British royal family are a sign of impending collapse. King Charles, his wife Camilla, Prince Andrew, Prince Edward, Crown Prince William, and his wife Kate Middleton have disappeared from public view. Our sources in Me6 tell us that they were all eliminated by the White Hats after they sacrificed Kate Middleton. Regardless of whether this is true or not, the public events taking place around members of the royal family indicate that something highly unusual is happening. There was a royal guard parade with a flag wrapped in black cloth and a white horse without a king on it. This is a traditional sign that the king is dead. In addition, Kate Middleton did not appear again after abdominal surgery. After that, there were clumsy attempts to pretend that everything was fine. A photo of Kate posted by the royal family was quickly exposed as a fake. Then a video was posted purporting to show her with Prince William. BBC reporter Sonia McLaughlin, among other things, said that the woman depicted in the photo and video with Prince William was clearly not Princess Kate. Then we found out that the person in the video was professional Middleton impersonator Heidi Agon. Further in this drama, the BBC reported that an important announcement from the royal family should be expected. Flags flew at half-mast on British government buildings, leading to speculation that King Charles' death was imminent. All this happened after the public announcement of the death of Jacob Rothschild, mouth equals red, shield equals shield of Satan, whom many call the real father of Prince William. Our own sources in me 6 say that the father was the king of Spain. Sources in me 6 say that in fact there was a large-scale operation against Satanists led by the British government. After the red sign of Satan was removed from the scene, it was planned to publicly announce that Kate Middleton was killed as a result of a satanic sacrifice, and the members of the royal family involved were executed. That's why the flags were at half-mast and, according to sources, a big announcement was made. But before that could happen, Barack Obama appeared, the thunder of Satan Luke writes in chapter 10, verse 18, that Jesus said, I saw Satan fall like lightning. Translated from Hebrew, Barack Obama appears at the residence of the Prime Minister of Great Britain. Following this, the BBC released a new video in which Kate Middleton says she has cancer. They also posted a photo showing that King Charles is still alive. The problem is that Kate Middleton's posted video was a serious fake. You can tell by the way the ring on her hand disappears and then reappears. And if she's undergoing chemotherapy, why does she have thick hair? As for the image of Charles, a Canadian intelligence source comments, you can read the name on the soldier's uniform from a satellite in space, but you can't get a clear image from the side of the road. 
The circus continues. The reality is that publicly announcing that Kate Middleton was sacrificed to Satan would lead to the complete collapse of Khazar rule in the West, which is why they are trying so hard to hide it. The problems associated with the Rothschilds in the British royal family are related to the elimination of NSA agent Robert David Steele. The head of E6 informs us that Steele was killed because he wanted to expose a financial dark network operating in Antarctica. Steele was researching financial support for the international secret networks of the Khazars when he stumbled upon a supercomputer in Antarctica. This computer was used by former Pope Maledict Benedict XVI, Evelyn de Rothschild, David Rockefeller, us presidents, Dick Cheney, and the entire generation of the Western establishment. In this way, various terrorist groups such as ISIS and Al-Qaeda were funded. While Steele and the NSA were investigating this dark financial network, Steele was contacted by a man named Sasha Stone, aka Simon Jean Paul Sasha Adams. Stone is an agent associated with the Rockefeller staff who was tasked with infiltrating the Pravdist movement. Stone suggested that Steele run for President of the United States. In this regard, Steele was sent on a bus tour of the central United States. It seems that Steele was offered this in exchange for his silence about the dark web. However, Steele told me that he had quarreled with Stone. As a result, he was taken to a Florida hospital, intubated and killed. When I asked my then-me-6 and CIA staff to step in and help him, they told me that he had been saved and had received a good pension. Now the same sources admit that they lied and that he was killed to keep the dark financial network in Antarctica intact. Our sources in the US Space Forces tell us that there is a war going on in Antarctica between light and dark forces, both of which possess very advanced technologies. He adds, the place is cordoned off. All this is due to the mass casualties scheduled for April 8th. Don't take your eyes off the sky, the source says somewhat mysteriously. It seems that Obama's visit to Prime Minister Rishi Sunak was aimed at buying time for a kind of Hail Mary campaign conducted by the Khazars. In addition to what is scheduled for April 8th, we have seen a serious push to start World War III with Russia through mass murder in Moscow. Obama obviously knew about the planned attack on the Moscow Concert Hall and hoped that it would trigger the long-awaited Armageddon of the KMS. That's why he was trying to buy time by talking about the revelations about King Charles. ISIS intelligence claimed responsibility for the attack. As President Donald Trump claims that Obama founded ISIS. Today, ISIS announced a terrorist attack in Moscow. Obama is a shadowy party. The CIA Me6 has already committed acts of terrorism in the European theater of operations, sabotaging the Nord Stream. There are no coincidences, a Pentagon source said. Polish and French intelligence sources note that ISIS and Hamas fought against Russia and Syria. Sources in the Russian FSB know that the terrorist attack on them was eventually carried out from Tel Aviv. Israel is ruled by supporters of Vladimir Jabotinsky, a historical ally of Benito Mussolini. Victoria Nuland said a month ago that unpleasant surprises await Putin. In addition, on March 8, the U.S. Embassy in Moscow wrote that it was monitoring reports that extremists were planning to attack large rallies in Moscow in the near future, including concerts, and U.S. Citizens should be advised to avoid large rallies for the next 48 hours. Russian President Vladimir Putin has promised to track down and punish those responsible for the bloody and barbaric terrorist attack at a concert hall near Moscow, as, according to Russian authorities, the death toll has risen to 137. Putin said that all those responsible, the organizers and those who ordered this crime will be punished fairly and inevitably. Whoever they are they were, no matter who led them, Putin added. According to a source in the FSB of Russia, the CIA has 12 bases in Ukraine, where it trains terrorists. All this is due to the massive and covert buildup of NATO forces in Ukraine and Romania. According to the French military, General Jean-Louis Georges Lynn, the chief of the French defense staff, was eliminated by the Russians in Ukraine at the end of last year. Officially, it says that he fell down the mountain and died. Dorjalin led a 50 000, strong secret NATO force stationed in the Danube Delta in Romania, on the border with Ukraine, the report said. Sources in Polish intelligence confirm this, it's definitely getting hotter. So, Israel and Britain have just attacked Russia through their proxy. Currently, regular troops from France, Germany and Poland have arrived in Cherkasa, south of Kiev, by rail and by plane. Significant forces. The figures were not disclosed. They are placed in schools. In practice, these are NATO forces. 
The deployment of regular troops comes at a time when the former chief of the general staff of the Polish Armed Forces, Raymond Andrzejczak, says that Ukraine's actual losses should be in the millions, not hundreds of thousands. There are no resources in this country, and there is no one else to fight," the general continued. Russia is now also talking about French troops in Ukraine. Sergei Naryshkin, head of the Russian Foreign Intelligence Service SVR, says, French President Emmanuel Macron is hiding the truth about the number of French soldiers already killed in Ukraine, fearing mass protests in his country. Naryshkin adds that the French military leadership is afraid of discontent among the current mid-level officers. There are disproportionately many dead, and even now there are problems with finding volunteers to rotate and replace those who left the Ukrainian theater of operations, he said. Our French military sources agree with this. They say that the murdered General George Lynn was a Freemason and had crimes that were hidden under the carpet in order to be able to control him. Sources say that with the death of George Lyne, the French military is now under the control of the White Hats. That's why the French military refused to comply with President Emmanuel Macron Rothschild's order to kill French peasant protesters and declare war on Russia. Last week, French White Hats dealt another blow to Macron, killing, according to them, former French culture minister Frédéric Mitterrand, nephew of former President François Mitterrand. According to sources, he was a leading Satanist and Macron supporter. They told us that several other Macron supporters will also die soon. The same sources also informed us that the Haitian barbecue gangster featured in our report last week was eliminated along with his henchmen. French President Macron himself admitted during a political event at the Elysee Palace that Ukraine could fall very quickly. Macron is a high-ranking representative of the family tree, occupying a formal position of power in the West, so his overthrow will lead to the collapse of the rule of the Khazars in Europe, according to French patriots. Since the British and French branches of the Rothschilds are headed by David René de Rothschild, the loss of control over France will certainly be a big blow for the Khazars. Then only Klaus Schwab Rothschild will remain in Switzerland with his WEF, who, and unforces. The WEF is a fanatical political organization that uses fear and manipulation, such as hysteria over the pandemic, for example, the deception of global warming, to make people believe that they are somehow saviors. But in fact you are just helping them achieve their goal, which is actually global public opinion is a private movement and a fusion of big government, big technology and big money to create a technocratic ruling elite, which they essentially are. They want to create feudalism too. Zero, in which we will be serfs, and they will be masters who will rule us. This is what they are striving for. Schwab and his associates are still trying to take us down with fancy cocktails. Polish intelligence informs us. The communists in aprons, sitting at the Silesian Medical Association in Katowice, organized a meeting of witches two days ago, called a scientific conference. At the meeting, they announced a draft legislative ban on the expression of views that contradict modern medical knowledge. Let's start by deciphering the term current level of medical knowledge. This is the knowledge gained from the Central Medical Committee of the Bolshevik Genocide Party, better known as the World Health Organization. This communist international, this medical common term, defines what modern medical knowledge is based on the instructions it receives from the Gates Foundation. The Rockefeller Foundation and five of the world's largest organizations that make up a criminal syndicate called Big Pharma. New York Times interviewer. Some people would even say that if you just planted enough trees, you could completely solve the climate problem. Bill Gates, and that's complete nonsense. I mean, are we scientists or are we idiots? Which of the two do we want to be? Even if we assume that CO2 is a pollutant that needs to be sucked out of the air, which it is not, it should be borne in mind that trees that suck CO2 out of the air for free would be an ideal candidate. But no, obviously we will have to plunge into poverty and create ugly, expensive, and completely unnecessary carbon capture technologies to solve a non-existent problem. The pharmaceutical terrorist Gates and Schwab tricked Pope Francis into saying in a rubber mask that he was worried about resisting injections, because being against the antidote was an almost suicidal act of denial. This is what drives Pope Francis forward, according to British MP Andrew Bridgen, who said that a senior cabinet minister told him the details of the plan to use turbo cancer to depopulate the world. People will soon die in the hundreds of millions. You can say whatever you want, the minister told Bridgen. It doesn't matter. They're going to die of cancer soon. The UK is experiencing the longest epidemic of sick leave in 25 years. Two. Seven million people say they are too ill to work, which slows down the country's economic growth. 
The population of England has died by almost a million people in 23 months. German intelligence has warned us about Nicole Junkerman, Jeffrey Epstein's Bond girl, who infiltrated the National Health Service with the help of Matt Hancock, an MP, through the UK Ministry of Health and Social Security, and her presence poses a serious threat to the data security of all UK citizens. Every piece of information about you, about your health problems, your blood type, the model of the wireless pacemaker that supports your life. Every detail of every unpleasant medical problem is in the hands of the Israeli state apparatus and can potentially be sold to the highest bidder. Not only are these lunatics still trying to get us drunk to death, but now they insist on pills that transmit a message confirming that they were obediently swallowed by sheep. These criminals are also still trying to cause a food and water crisis. National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan and Environmental Protection Agency Administrator Michael Reagan have warned that water and sewer systems across the United States have been affected by cyber attacks. They are trying to blame Chinese and Iranian hackers, but everyone knows that this is part of the Khazar's plan to create a food and water crisis by 2025. Now Indian activist Vandana Shiva is warning us that four companies are trying to take control of all the seeds grown by farmers around the world and ensure that they cannot reproduce on their own. They view farmers who have their own seeds as a violation of their monopoly rights, she says. The same Khazar gangsters still smuggle millions of criminals into the United States. Venezuela is emptying its prisons and taking advantage of Biden's open border. Americans should know that they are approaching the border warned Miami immigration lawyer Rolando Vasquez on Monday in a telephone conversation with Daily Mail. Calm. And how Biden's circus show will react to this, you can't imagine. 140 Democrats are demanding the disarmament of us veterans they armed illegal immigrants and disarm veterans, that says it all. It is almost impossible to imagine a future in which there will be no significant violence, given our difficult financial situation, said Field Marshal Douglas McGregor. We also note that the criminal government behind this has delayed the financial damage a little longer. It is expected to start in June, and in August it will really go downhill, a Pentagon source said. If you don't think this is intentional, look at what Justin Castrudo did to Canada. How the hell did we get to the point where a salad in Toronto costs $7? Compare this with what Putin has achieved for Russia. What happened to Irish Prime Minister Leo Varadkar shows that the current leaders of the West are not free to follow their hearts even if they want to. As Archbishop Carlo Vigano notes, all the heads of Western states are controlled by blackmail, so they cannot act independently. We hope that the real Donald Trump will return to power soon and put an end to this nightmare. Sources in the Secret Space Forces report that two avatars of Donald Trump are now appearing in public, as well as the real one, which is still located at the Cheyenne military base on Cheyenne Mountain in Colorado. Each of them plays a role in the scenario unfolding now, he says. Whatever it is the Zionist henchmen of the Khazars. They get furious when it comes to Trump. Hey race what Bernie Sanders says, Trump's next presidential term is so dangerous that climate change will kill us all if we let him take office. He will use the military against citizens, he hates the mainstream media, he is a conspiracy theorist. He does not believe in elections in which water pipes burst in the middle of the night. And now look at what his former opponent Hillary Clinton Rockefeller did in 1975. Are you saying that we are an advanced civilization? Healthcare is dictated by elites who are not doctors at all. Science is dictated by elites who are not scientists. The news is dictated by the elite, who are not journalists. Education is dictated by elites who are not teachers at all. Historiography is dictated by elites who are not historians. The government is dictated by elites who are not representatives of the people. Agriculture is dictated by elites who are not farmers. Theology is dictated by elites who are not scientists at all. Services are dictated only to the elites, not to the population. The Constitution is an artificial creation of the law, in which only they are punished, not the elites. While the West is fighting the messianic parasites, China is leaving us in the dust. China's first self-made hydrogen train passed full load tests at 160 km per hour on Thursday, setting a record for the performance of a fully systemic, fully functional and multi-stage hydrogen train test. The train, equipped with an integrated hydrogen power plant, consumed an average of 5 kilowatt hours per kilometer during testing, which is the best indicator in the world, and can develop a maximum power of more than 1,000 kilometers of mileage. If we all don't want to end up as Chinese slaves, we need to abolish the Khazar crazies.